Hey guys, Curtis here. I've got a really quick, simple recipe for you that's nutritious and delicious, which doesn't always happen, right? It's a carrot carbonara. We're gonna make it with spaghettini. The thing I love about this recipe is in the time it takes to cook this pasta, which is like 11 or 12 minutes, the sauce is done. So dinner is literally a 10 to 15 minute uh, preparation here. So a pot of boiling water, lift your lid, Here's the thing that you have to do before you put uh, the pasta in the water is get some salt. Generously season it with that salt because you almost want it to taste like seawater. Right, so the pasta goes in, we turn that up on full. Into this hot pan, I've got a little bit of chopped up bacon, cured salty pork bits, delicious. Now, once your pasta has been in for just a minute and you know it's softened and it's now all fallen down into the water, just give it a little stir. It just that little stir will help it from not sticking together. Once your bacon is starting to look a little crisp, what you do next is throw in some onions. Now, my recipe calls for a brown onion. Guess what? I don't have any. So I'm using a red onion and that's going to be just fine. Once that's had 30 seconds or maybe a minute, time for the garlic. And in seconds, you guys, it smells unbelievable in here. Carrots go in next. That's gonna go for about two minutes. You can do it with the lid on or the lid off. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my lid back on. Now, traditional carbonara doesn't actually use any cream, which is always a surprise to people. It's sort of a liaison between that Parmesan cheese that I just dumped in there and that beautiful egg yolk and whisk it real nice. Now, some carbonaras will tell you never use cream. I'm going to just cheat and use just the littlest bit. Look at that. And that's it. I'm going to turn it right down. The spaghettini is done. I've got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We've got our pasta um, done. It is all looking super beautiful. You might just want to spoon just a little more of that pasta water in. Then what you do is you bring this beautiful um, egg yolk and parmesan mixture in. Go ahead and turn your pan off. Then what you do is you just lift this up and you toss it together. That's it, corn to the table. Dinner's ready. Lots of love, lots of delicious vegetables, and of course, fabulous, fabulous flavors. I said it was a one pot wonder, and I wasn't joking. Bon appetit.